Hi everyone, this is Virendra from iDeserve. Today I am going to talk about shortest palindrome. So the problem statement here is, given a string s, we need to form a shortest palindrome by appending characters at the start of the string. So for example, if you have a string like this ABAB, we can form a shortest palindrome by appending B to the start of it. Similarly for ABCD, we can append DCB at the start of the string and form the shortest palindrome. And here is the third example where we append B and we form the shortest palindrome here. Okay, so the approach I want to follow is I'll reverse the original string and append it to the start of the original string. Okay, that way I'll obtain a palindrome for sure. Let's see, look at another example. Here, if you reverse the string again, you obtain a palindrome, right? Let's look at one more example ABAB. If you reverse the string, append to the start, you get a palindrome. But the question is, are these shortest palindromes? No, right? Why? Because there are some characters like B in this particular string, which is making it a longer palindrome, right? If we remove this, we'll get the shortest palindrome. Similarly, for this particular example, if we remove A and A and A, we'll get the shortest palindrome. Same for the third example. So now our task is to figure out a way to determine these characters which are making the palindrome longer. So to understand that, let's go through some insights. Let's take the example of ABAB. Okay. So what are we trying to do? We are trying to append the reversed string to the start of the original string, right? And what is making this a longer palindrome? This particular substring ABA. Let's do one thing. Let's take this reversed string and append it to the end of the original string. And let's observe something. Here we find that the suffix of the reversed string is equal to the longest prefix of the original string, right? So we have to find the long longest prefix, which is equal to the suffix, right? If we eliminate that longest prefix, which is also suffix of the reversed string, we will get the characters that need to be appended at the start of the original string okay that way we will get the shortest palindrome let's go through the steps that we have followed here and understand what we did okay so we took the original string appended the reverse string to the end okay and then we found out the suffix of the reversed string which is the longest prefix of the original string okay and we removed that longest suffix from the reverse string. After doing that, we found some remaining characters which we appended to the start of the original string to find the shortest palindrome, right? Let's go through another example. So we have one more string here, A and A and A B, which is basically reverse of banana. What was our original approach? Reverse the string and append to the start of the original string. But what was the issue? The issue was these characters were making it a longer palindrome. So what are we going to do for that? We are going to move this particular reverse string at the end of the original string and we are going to find out which characters are to be removed. Now we detect that these are the characters because this is the longest prefix which is also suffix of the reverse string. Okay. Once we remove that, we'll get the characters that need to be appended at the start of the original string. Okay. That way we'll get the shortest palindrome. Now the major question is to find out this particular substring which we need to remove from the reverse string, right? So to do that we need a very efficient algorithm. We need to find out the longest prefix of the original string which is also a suffix of the reverse string, right? We are going to use KMP's partial match table algorithm. This is basically a part of KMP's string matching algorithm in which it creates a partial match table which is used by the string matching algorithm, okay? So let's try to understand what this partial match table is. So for the string ABAB, we have this complete string, right? We where we want to find out that particular longest prefix, which is also the suffix, right? And the partial match table for this looks like this here. Okay. So here we have the indices for all the characters in this whole string that we have. Okay. And the partial match table is the prefix array. Let's try to understand what each cell here means. Okay. So if I'm looking at the last cell here, I am actually considering the whole string. Okay. And if I'm looking at the cell here, I'm considering this particular string. So I'm trimming out 
the last character i'm considering the string only this a b a b b a b okay and if i'm looking at this cell i'm actually considering this particular string by trimming out b a okay so just keep that in mind and there are a couple of more things that we need to understand so first one is what is a proper prefix okay so given a string like this the proper prefixes are a a b a b a okay barring the last character all substrings of the given string are proper prefixes similarly proper suffixes are all the characters from the from the end except the first character okay so here you have b a b and b a b okay now i'll explain how all this fits into the partial ma match table so here is a trimmed out version of that table each cell value here is basically the length of the proper prefix of the string that matches the proper suffix in the string okay so here if you look at the last cell here it is 2 right what does that mean is the suffix ab is equal to the prefix ab okay so the length of the longest prefix what is the longest prefix here ab which matches the suffix here proper suffix here ab right so 2 is the length of the longest prefix which is also the suffix of that particular string so that's why we have 2 here okay we'll understand this part by part okay i'll go through a few more examples to make it clear so have a look at this table i have grayed out the substring that i am not considering so we are looking to fill fill out this particular cell right how do we fill out this cell what we will do is we'll write down the proper prefixes of this particular substring so the proper prefixes of this substring are a and ab right a and ab and what are the proper suffixes of this substring a and ba right a and ba correct what we need to do is find out the matching prefixes and suffixes here we have only one candidate which is a the length of the longest prefix that matches the proper suffix is one which is basically a length of a is one right let's look at another example let's go ahead and try to fill this particular cell okay so the proper prefixes of this particular substring are a ab aba correct and proper suffixes are b ab and bab correct now let's find out the matching prefixes and suffixes we have only one candidate here again which is of length 2 right so that's what we update here okay so each cell in here is the length of the longest prefix that matches the proper suffix of that particular substring let's look at the last cell now here the proper prefixes are a ab aba etc and proper suffixes are a ba aba baba etc okay so the matching prefixes and suffixes are there is only one right which is aba and the length of that is 3 and we are interested in only this particular value this particular last column value will give us the length of the suffix substring that we need to trim out from the reversed string here the length of the suffix that we need to trim out is 3 so if you count 3 from here we'll have to trim out aba okay so we'll trim out aba and the remaining character is b it goes to the start of the original string that's how we have the shortest palindrome let's look at the code now so given a string s what we are going to do is reverse that string append it to the original string i have a special character in between the original string and the reverse string just to avoid the overlap and then construct that partial match table using the kmp algorithm once you have the partial match table trim the reverse string such that you use the last column value of that partial match table so that you trim out the longest prefix of the original string matching the suffix of the reversed string right and then you append it to the original string i'll explain this partial match table creation in another video the whole kmp algorithm so that it's easier to understand in a flow for now thank you for watching the video if you have any comments please leave them below the video please subscribe to our channel we are creating new videos every day thank you